Hi, I'm Dave, and today I'm going to talk about a way you can take a 5-volt DC rail and bring it down to a 3-volt DC rail. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to talk about the simplest one or the fastest one, the one with the fewest components that's easiest to do. So to start, let's look at our problem. We have a 5 volt rail from a battery or a power supply or something like that and we need a 3 volt rail because one of our parts says I can't have any more than 3 volts. Okay, so we've got 5 volts, we should be able to get 3 out from that. Anybody that's seen a voltage divider equation, how you use resistors to divide down a voltage, would immediately say, I know, I'll use a voltage divider. I can use two resistors and generate any voltage I want as long as it's lower than the input. So let's take a look at that. That solution is going to look like this. So we have 5 volts coming in here, and we have it going to a 1K resistor and then a 1.5K resistor. If you look at the equation up here, the voltage divider equation, you'll find that with a 1K and a 1.5K, you get 3 volts out. Perfect. We're done, right? So I can take my load and hook it up to that 3 volts. So let's say I've got a light, an incandescent light that I want to hook up that we could model as a 100 ohm resistor. So I'll just put that in. It'll be a small light. I'll draw it in our schematic. And it's 100 ohms. So let's look at how that changes things. Right? Here's the load that I added to the circuit, and here's the 3 volts that it should be getting. So will that work? No. And here's why. Because when you hook up this load, this load ends up being in parallel with this 1.5K resistor. So when you rerun this equation with a 100 ohm in parallel with 1.5K with the 1K ohm series, you're going to end up with a different output voltage. Your 3 volts will no longer be 3 volts. And what's even more complicated is if you were to say, well, I can do this equation, I can figure out a, an answer so that I can change R1 so that in this situation with the load hooked up, it'll give me my 3 volts. Well, guess what? If you want to change that load to a 1K ohm load or a 10 ohm load, once again, your 3 volt output will be off. That's not going to work. Not in all cases. So, wouldn't it be great if someone invented a variable resistor? Something that would allow you to put in this design. So I've got a 5 volt input here, just like before, and then we have this magical part here, this variable resistor. And then we don't even need a bottom resistor that is set. We can just use our load as the bottom end of the voltage divider. And so no matter what this load was, we'd have this variable resistor that would change its value so that the ratio between these two resistors would result in a 3 volt output. That would be great. Then we don't have any power loss, we don't have any problems with uh, the voltage changing when the load changes. Sweet. Turns out somebody made that. And it's called a low dropout regulator. And this is what the circuit diagram looks like. The way it works is it gets its 5 volts here and then it puts out a voltage that's almost as much as 5 volts or lower and it will give you whatever voltage here that you program with this two res these two resistors. So you set up a voltage divider here and this will do what it takes to make the adjust pin, that's this third pin here, this part will do what it takes to make the adjust pin equal 1.2 volts or whatever that adjust pin happens to want to be. You can look it up on the data sheet. But if I told you that this adjust pin wants to be at 1.2 volts and it'll make that output be whatever it's got to be in order for this point right here to be 1.2, you could put in our 1.5K resistor here, our 1K resistor here, and if you do the voltage divider equation that I showed on the previous page, you'd see that with a 3 volt output, a 1.5K and a 1K, you're going to get 1.2 volts here. Everything would be happy. So let's run through that again. The power goes through this 5 volt pin to the output pin, and it decides 
how much of a resistor this will look like. You can imagine there's a little guy in there with a knob on a variable resistor here. It could look just like a resistor. This would be the same thing where somebody's going to change that resistor for you every time your load changes in, only, in order to make that 1.2 volt adjust pin stay where it is. Perfect. Now that's a solution that you can depend on. It's something that will work in almost all cases. It's very easy and it only takes three parts. The LDO and two resistors. And maybe a couple capacitors depending on the resistor that you get and the LDO. That's an LDO. That's how you take 5 volts and knock it down to 3 for whatever you need. Hope you enjoyed the video.